Hello everyone, this is John Crate, and we are back in the show, the Detroit Tigers. So we got him, one second, I gotta sneeze. Okay, maybe not. Bit of news to start off the stream. Um, so I'm getting, I think I mentioned either yesterday or the day before that, I'm getting a capture card. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to work with my computer, because my computer doesn't is so old. It's at least 10 years old. Uh, it has Windows 7. Um, but it's my my desktop is so old, and I haven't turned it on in so long. But it's so old that um, I need another HDMI input on it in order for this to work, because I need to be able to have one input and one output on it. Um, so that's kind of where that is. So I'm going to I'm going to look into getting like a cheaper computer maybe. Um, I just need some way, you know, to have to have um output as well. Maybe I might not have to if I do it right, I don't know. I've got to I've got to try a few things and take take a look at some more connections on this thing. And I don't even know if the the uh, streaming software will work on will work on this computer. Like I said, it's at least ten years old, probably older. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a work in progress. Anyway, let's get moving on this. So we need a first base coach. Anyone who's not gonna... Well, you're just gonna retire. Durability I do like. It was probably you. And he likes the offer. And we need a farm director. <laughs> because Joe Madden retired right away. Right, okay, I sh I'm looking at, I'm not, I'm looking out, I'm look disregarding anyone with a minus, but I should see what the minuses are. Like I said, I don't care about drag bunting. There's nobody with all positives here. May have to just get somebody for one year. I'm gonna end up end, end up getting somebody for one year. Cause I don't like any of these guys. Let's somebody with an A. Minus one to blocking, sure. I'll give you more money to fuck off after this, after this year. <laughs> okay. So we're signing Pete Alonso. He wants four years. I really only want him for like two. So I guess I'll be willing to pay him more to, to fuck off after a year. Or after two years. What would the qualifying offer be? One year, $21 million. So I will tender him the qualifying offer because we're, pay we're offering him more than that. So this is just to make sure. Kate... I could qualifying offer him, which is actually probably a good deal, because he wants a max contract. This way, I'll get something from him. I'm not going to actually offer him a deal. Rosario, we're we're just going to let go, because we've got his replacement. Willie Castro, we are not going to let go. I want him. You got to stay on the team for four more years, my dude. 
three more years, my dude. <laughs> and Damon Childs. Again, I haven't decided on him yet. Okay, so Damon Childs. How much did he want? No, that's not what I want. He wants 14 mil, but he's kind of worth it. I mean... How about four years? He'll, the more, less years I want him, the less he wants. So that's kind of a cool deal. How about four years? Oh, here. Three years. 12-3. I think that's a good deal. Okay, we got our first base coach. But we didn't get our farm director. Minus one to control. Don't like that at all. overall guy down here, am I? Wait, there is one. But I don't want him. Or, no, minus three to power. Sorry, Manning, Mattingly. I can't do that. Just having A overall guys makes everyone in the organization happy. You haven't been offered a job yet. So he hasn't accepted our offer yet, so he's going to hit free agency. So if somebody else signs him, we'll at least get something for it. Castro, we didn't, we offered him, he hasn't signed yet. Okay, we've got our farm director at least. Tim Kate is out there, the qualifying offers on him. Hey, Andrew Vaughn's out there. Who else? Is there anybody interesting? Do any of my guys not take my offers so yet so far? Or is Ario I just let go? Castro has still not taken my contract offer. Come on, man. We need you. Oh, this bell's out there. He's going to make some money. Okay, so we did get Pete Alonzo. We got Damon Childs. The rest of these guys are our rookie class. So yeah, we just had, don't have Willie Castro. 
We have one arbitration, Brandon Hathaway. You're not worth that amount of money. You're not even playing for us. You can you can go away. Plus, we still have eight catchers. He he wasn't even on the forty man because these are our three catchers. Okay, only Sanchez can play another position. Just wanted to make sure of that. He's going to be on the 40-man eventually. Like, pretty quick. Not this season, but... Okay, let's take a look. What are we looking at for positions here? 22, 16, and 6 on pitchers. I think we're pretty good there. He's still getting better. You are somehow still getting better at your age. We'll keep you around. You are obviously getting a contract. You're on the 40 man? Yes, don't have to worry about protecting you. You're still okay. He's on the 40 man. What kind of improvements did you make? A little here and there. You are not on the 40, man. But you're also 27, so it's not a huge deal. I think we can let Jake Wong go. We can find somebody else. And we or we don't even have to replace him because we've got 22. So I think we can we open up a roster spot by getting rid of him. Ooh, some plus five in there. Plus four, plus five, plus four. Yeah, way to go, my man. Plus, he's going to start going down. He's already losing a little bit because he's 30, so we'll get rid of Jake Wong. We'll try to, let's, get, let's get rid of him. Six years to buy out your uh, arbitration. That's for $2 million a year. That's a pretty good deal. We're going to do that. And you, I can just renew. You are on the 40. Yes, you're on the 40, man. Never mind. Yep, you're still getting better. And you've been around forever, so we'll keep you around. He's 29. He's never going to reach his potential, but he's <laughs> he's still in the system. You never know when he's when he's 34. He might be he might be worth going to putting into the majors. <laughs> Dwayne King, we've had him around for a while too. I think this is. I think he's. Been, I think we had him since he was twenty. So he's just slow to develop. There we go. Yeah, that was a good development year for Sanderson. Okay, catchers. Of course, we're renewing you. And yep. You could stick around. God, he's got a weird hit tool. He's worth keeping around just for that. Like he's gonna, he alone will keep my some minor league teams going <laughs> with his hit tool. Keep 
you around, and of course we'll keep you around. First baseman. I don't particularly even really want this guy. I can probably try to trade him though, so I'll, and he doesn't want much, so I'll just buy out his arbitration. I kind of I want to replace him on the forty. I want to take him off the forty man and put Barney Watt on the forty man. So I'm going to see if I can get rid of him. Obviously, keep Douglas around. Wait, can I? No, I just renewed. Okay. Perez has some position eligibility. You don't, but you, you've got a cool hit tool. Always bet on hit tool. I keep saying that, but you always bet on the hit tool. Now we only have four, we only have four shortstops unless uh, Castro signs. Might as well keep you around. Yeah, you're still going up. We'll keep you around. Rex Iverson. Okay, here we go with Rex. We gotta buy out his arbitration. We just gotta figure out what we're gonna do with him. Because he doesn't have any options left. So he's got to stay up, or we got to trade him, and I don't not, I don't want to trade him because his power is going to be ridiculous once he gets it even into the 80s overall. I got to figure out what we're going to do with him. Actually, we don't need Morrow. We're gonna let's, let's draw the offer tomorrow. We're gonna get rid of Rob Morrow. We don't need him. We've got too many outfielders as it is. Okay, center fielders. Buy out your arbitration. Still going up. Okay, so it's Morrow, and then what do we want to do with some of these guys? I think I can keep you around. Yep. We have 30, right now we have 36 players on the 40 man. If we sign Willie Castro, that'll be 37. But we'll, uh, we'll deal with this in a little bit here. Go for it. Okay, we got Willie Castro. Thank Christ. Okay, 
So we're going to get something for Tim Kate. What are they offering me? They're offering me an interesting starting pitcher. Pretty good starting pitcher, actually. But they want him. I do not want to give him up right now. Okay. So we've got 37 on the 40. So we can just, we outright can put three guys on. So you might, I might have to protect you. He's already protected. He is not, but that's not a big deal because he's 27. In fact, I might just try to trade him. The rest of these guys I'm not concerned about. So yeah, we're going to try and trade um, Theo Escobedo. But in the meantime, I should protect you. And I don't care if anyone takes him. I don't think anyone would. We don't have to protect any yet. I have to protect you. And we're also going to try and trade Junior, Junior, whatever the fuck his name is. Now there's, we get a starting pitcher with 20 with a potential from the Orioles. I don't need another second baseman, even though that guy's tempting. Didn't see that. Once again, though, I just I don't want somebody. I, I want players that I won't have to protect. The Orioles deal would give me that pitcher that nobody would take in the Rule 5, so I don't. So I'm, that's probably where I'm heading, or that's probably why I, where I'm leaning right now. And it's hard to say no to a starting pitcher with A potential. So that, that starting pitcher that they're offering me oh wait that was this so yeah I think I gotta take this deal for the starting pitcher We have 92 people on the roster right now. So I can even only have one more, but I suppose I can release some players if I have to. Like this guy. I could also see what I can get for a De La Cruz. I could probably I can throw him out there. 
Uh, you... If we're even going to keep you around, you're going to be a relief pitcher, not a closer. So I have two spots open on the 40-man. God, I've got a lot of second basemen. Christ. Any of these guys play short? He can. I should probably just move him to shortstop with second play. Well, no, he, he doesn't have the defense to play short. You. I should make you a shortstop who plays second and third. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do with him. Just to make our roster a little more balanced. Again, I don't feel like that's cheating because it's all positions that they already play, so... Yeah, but now it becomes what I do with Rex Iverson. And then these two don't have options anymore either. think I think I might have to go ahead and try and trade John Poles even though it's like he had his best year last year but he's not getting any better really because if we trade Poles then Iverson can play or Packard has better defense he can play right and then we can throw Rex Iverson in left and he obviously he's in center and green is the backup. Or would we want well he's got better defense, so we do as as a fourth outfielder, so we do want him around. And then he's got more potential because he's twenty three, so I think we've got to trade Cabela. Let's try and trade Cabello and Poles. Now I might take that deal because the, for the to get that guy to get that a second baseman. thinking that's probably the best deal I'm going to find. Oh, another A, a starting pitcher, though. Yeah, let's do that. A starting pitcher. That I don't have to protect. A 23, 34, 
three, six. So I can still protect four guys. I can actually protect a few more guys now. And you, I was going to move to either left or right anyway. So here, we're going to make you a right fielder. And you're going to be our left fielder. Actually, you might not even be starting. You need to be a right fielder, or a left fielder. Yeah, he's actually an 81 overall as a left fielder. He's got the arm. He doesn't have the power, but he's got the hit tool. So we might have to keep five outfielders on the roster because of this. Um, none of them can play extra positions like first base, can they? No. But we don't. Have to, but um, um, Ahmed Rosario is gone because he's going to be replaced with Luciano. Zero doesn't have any options either. We could probably trade him because we've got this guy coming up who's better. So what what is this going to look like? We have so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. So we're not, we're st we still, so that's 14 players. So we're not going to have enough um, space for everyone. I do have to get rid of one player to keep our 20, have 13 on the, 13 hitters on the 26. So I think we do have to trade Lucero. Oh, wait, that's not it. He still has an option left. Even though he's got, like, ridiculous power against lefties, it's like... It's like there's no way he's going to pass through waivers. Well, here's the thing. I can keep him on the 40 man. I don't have to trade him. We can trade him later after players sign. So that's not a big deal because I can still put four I can still protect four more players. So yeah, I, it's, we can do this. Not a big deal. I can keep him on the team for now. Who else do I want to protect? I kind of feel like I should protect him. I should probably protect you as well. leave me with two spots that I can use. But if I'm not worried about people getting taken, then I guess I can just leave it open. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I can for now. I don't have any relievers that I want to protect, like this guy. I suppose I could protect him. I'm not too worried about anything else, so we're going to have an open spot. Don't think we'll use it in the row 5, but I guess we'll see. Lolo Sanchez. How many players do we have on the roster? We have 92, so I could actually only sign one more player. Um, and I don't think there's anyone that I even want to. I'd have to get, well, I can get rid of a lot of relief pitchers if I have to. I've got way too many now. Uh, any catchers that play, aren't signed for any stupid freaking reason? guy. He's got potential. Sure, why not? Again, we can trade him later. Yeah, I don't care about any of these guys. Well, that's a trade. Blue Jays got Karinchak from, or the Rays got Karinchak. Good job, Kepler. You get that money. Okay, I need a drink. Just because I'm curious. It recommends I pick this guy. He's on waivers. That's kind of weird. So are you. I mean, yeah, there's nobody I can, that I want to or can take, really. Yes, I'm sure. And that's it. Only one round. Oops. Diamondbacks took BJ Jones from the Tigers. Which is not really surprising. Go. Cool. Yeah, because he was 27. That's okay. We've got pitchers. I'm not worried about it. Angels trade for Joe Rizzo. Okay, we have no arbitration hearings. Mets signed Trevor Story to a ridiculously small deal because nobody had signed him yet. 
Same with Scott Kingery. Bob, don't knock stuff over. He didn't want his contract that we offered him, so we're going to renew it. Of course. We offered you your long-term contract, but I can understand why you don't want it, because we're just buying out your arbitration years for cheap. <laughs> totally get it. So we're ranked 6th. Look at that, 1st, 5th, and 4th. Our defense apparently just sucks. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. Okay. So now we might have... Now we can look at trading that third baseman. Red Sox wants... To, who is that guy for the Red Sox? I have to know. He's fast, and that's really about it. I mean, I'll if that's if he's the best I'll, that I can get, I'll I'll take him. But let's just see. And I don't have to worry about the rule five at this point, so I can just so I can just kind of go after who you know the best deal. Corey Stedman is another second baseman that they're offering. So we'll check we'll check out him. He's with the Rangers. And there's another bullpen arm. That's actually probably the best deal. Let's go with uh, the Braves offer. They're offering me two A players. I might have to take that. The Rockies. Yeah, Rockies win. That fills up our roster. 93 men. So one, two, three, four, five starters. You actually, I'm, the guys on my 40 men now have options at pitcher, so we can move you down. So five just regular starting pitchers. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, I gotta keep you up anyway, and I wouldn't want to send you down, so, and then 13, you have options, right? Yes, you do. And 
you should as well. Yeah, you have one more option. Zip, 13 pitchers. Catchers. down. And that puts us to 26. You're first overall. You're apparently the, ranked the best team in baseball. First in contact, 10th in power, first in pitching. Our defense went up to 12th. Speed is fourth. Okay, so yeah, we're doing good. I'm not going to complain about that sort of thing. Okay, pitching rotation it should be pretty obvious. We only have one lefty, though. So who's our long man? Yep. 66 and 50, that's pretty obvious there. I should probably switch that around. And you've got a little more stamina, so we'll make him a log man. Okay. that. Yes. Okay, so how do we want to do this? Freddy rushing. Okay, well, you're leading off. You're batting second. Castro third. Fourth. Fifth, easily. Then six. Man, your power has grown, my man. Seven. Eight and nine. Iverson, rushing's beating you right now. You gotta step up your game. Short and a third. And yep, okay. So yeah, he's probably gonna bat lead off against lefties, isn't he? Because he's got the speed and the contact. Second, third, four, five. Six, seven, there we go, perfect, looking good, start our season, huh? Padres are offering a trade, they want Barney Watt. That's going to be a tough sell, especially when you're offering me this kind of catcher. Ugh, that's a lot of that's a lot of gray to start the year. But now, okay, now we're getting some wins. Oof. It's okay, we've got players to bring up.
bring you up. Yeah. So you can grow a little bit. I hate that it does that. Yeah, keep him active. <laughs> Auto utilize. Red Sox acquire Papierski. 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 Hey, for. Oh, that's not. That's not our guy, is it? Yeah, that is Huggins. Or no, that wasn't our Huggins, was it? Now we're winning some games. Okay, they want Richie Rankin, and they're offering me the same catcher for him. I'm going to say no. Now we're winning some games. I say that as we then go on a losing streak. And it's draft day. And well, for some reason, we're way down here. We could go after another catcher. Scouted you out. Hmm. We, it says we're thin at catcher. That doesn't even make sense. And it says we're thin at like every position. Again, that I, and that we're we're balanced at third base. Yeah, right. What the hell is going on? Um. I mean, you can never have enough good catchers. He seems like he's going to be the best one, so sure, why the hell not? That shortstop's still around, so is he. Shortstop is tempting, but again, I'm sure it's no. I'm sure you know he's taking him for certain for good reason. But we'll take him. We scouted this guy. Can't play other positions. I don't like that. And again, we might as well take a pitcher for best value, so probably you. None of those closers are very convincing that they're actually good.
How about a third baseman? Since we traded one. This guy's still here. That's whatever. Let's just take him. We'll see what it is that everyone hates about him. So these are all the players that are left. Let's just take him. He's already an 80. Apparently he's an 80 overall or whatever, so... Okay, so he'd actually hold up, I think, as a as a bullpen arm. Uh, he actually has potential. He just won't ever live up to it. So you get a contract, clearly. And, of course, you're going to get a contract. But no, we don't need you. No, I'd rather have this guy, because he's already there. I'll just turn him into a relief pitcher. And I guess you're going to be in our system for a long time. So we can do that. Uh, but yeah, don't need you. Don't need you. And don't need you. Don't need you either, because you're awful. That's right, I was going to see if they, uh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to see if, make sure they did this right, and they didn't. Oh, he's still hurt. Okay, if I auto-utilize him, what's that going to do to the lineup? I want to make sure that that worked. Okay, I did put him back in. Oh, Pete Alonso's done. Ugh. Well, well, first of all, I gotta bring somebody up. And then since it's DH, it can actually be anybody. And Castro's starting to lose it. prefer it to be an infielder, since I have five outfielders. I mean, Iver, he's going to be our DH, I'm, get, I'm pretty sure, so it doesn't, so we should probably make it an infielder here. I mean, we might as well bring you up and let you get a taste of the majors. It also means you're not batting there. How about fifth? Fifth there, too. So that is a big blow, but we have enough offense that it shouldn't be too big of a deal. that people are getting released. So you're back, buddy. That means... Who did we bring up for, for you?
They want Bryant Packard. You know, my star right fielder. They're offering me this clown and this clown. No, thank you. The twins trade for Barrios from, from, from the A's. We're at 50 wins. The Orioles trade for Adley Rushman. Everyone's trading for their old players. Hey, Everson Pereira was involved. <laughs> Brendan McKay. Just get Joe Willard. The Rockies get Joe Willard. And here we are at the All Star break. Yes, we won. Okay, we're six games up on the White Sox, six and a half on the Twins. Let's see, who, who did any of our players make the All-Star? Well, one of them at least did. You'd think more, considering that we're in first. Munoz made it. Oh, he's having a good year. Nick Prado made it. Ooh, he's on a torrid pace right now. He's over 90 overall now. Oh, look at those, those, look at those bonuses to his hitting. His vision still sucks, but hey. That's two. There's three. Got three players. Got his, he's growing into his power. Prospects list. Right now we have the third best prospect in baseball and the fifth. Okay, good. He's going up to. Oh, we got three in a row here. Hamlin's going up nicely. Two more in a row here. He's not really doing much at all. I don't know why he's on the list. Anyway. Our starting pitching has been pretty good. These two not aren't doing super great, but they're, you know, doing okay. Manning's going up. Bell's starting to regress. Mize is still going up. Thompson isn't going up, but he doesn't have to, and Rogers is going up. See, our pitching isn't why we're, we're starting pitching. I mean, Manning's been awesome, but the rest of them have been kind of meh. Our bullpen's doing great, though. Jordan Hicks is starting to lose it. What's his contract? This is our last year of Jordan Hicks, so we're, we're probably going to get let him go. But yeah, 30 saves for Munoz. These guys have been pretty good, too. Oh, he's up to a 91 overall. They're both hitting. Okay, first base. Okay, Alonzo was on a torrid stretch before he got hurt. But yeah, now Nick Prado is, he's killing it. Oh, yes, they're, they're both over 900, and Nick Prado's almost 1,000. And Harold Castro, yeah, he's starting to fall apart. This is his last year, the last year on his contract. We probably got to let him go, unfortunately. As much as I love having him around. 
And Tim Douglas isn't playing much, but he's getting better. Uh, our shortstops and third base and second baseman. <laughs> 15 homers, 9. He only has 1. Holy shit, buddy. You are just not hitting the ball. Wow. Luciano though, is having a good year. Okay, so Freddie Rushing's going up. Iverson is also going up. Look at those increases. Not super great, but that's what we need from him. So he, he's got eight home runs. He's hitting almost 300. Freddie Rushing is hitting over 300. He's stolen 17 bases, too. Yeah, 920, 893. It's definitely our hitting that's that's keep that's uh working in our favor here. Of course, Cole Roderer has been awesome. Riley Green isn't playing much clearly, but he's hitting the ball when he is. 893, 866, and then Bryant Packard. Only seven home runs, 263. He's kind of disappointing. Astros get Sano. Hey, Renato Nunez. Why would they do that deal? I mean, that has to be a salary dump. Because they're not getting back really anything of value. Hey, Tariq Skubal. Raul Bruhan. Love him. Keep him on the 60 day then. Place him on the bench. Okay. Pete Alonzo is back. That means you get to move back down. Sorry. immensely. Or maybe we'll just go on a losing streak, whatever. And September call-ups. 83 wins. Okay, now we're 12 games up from the Twins. I think we've got this... Hopefully we've got this sewn up. So I guess I'll move you to the Majors just to get a taste of it. And then we need another guy, so... How about you? Oh, he's injured. Never mind. Then I guess... You. Who cares? Hopefully they won't be playing much anyway. <laughs> oh, he's out for the season. That's, oh my god. That's rough. Um... I guess that means we can bring you up for now. Shit. I mean, we gotta go Riley Green.
for the defense, mainly. But, I mean, it's not like he's not batless. I mean, the guy can still hit. Oh. Auto fix that last lineup, I don't care. Ninety one wins. Can we make it to a hundred again? Ninety four. Mud Hens did not make the playoffs. The Sea Wolves did, like they usually do. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, Sea Wolves advance. Come on, just one. There's 100. The sea Wolves have won the championship. And we finished at 100 and 162. Awesome. Let's make sure our playoff roster is going to be actually correct. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes. Took Jordan Hicks off the playoff roster. for his versatility. What is going on here? Add him to the playoff roster. But then I have... I have three catchers up here. What? Who's up that shouldn't be? Oh. Well, I want him off the playoff roster is the thing, because... There's two guys I want to take off the playoff roster. But then I guess... Oh, and that's why those other guys were on there, I suppose. Fine. Put you back on the playoff roster. Okay, well, he does, that doesn't count, I guess. Well, that, and then in that case, we'll get you off the playoff roster. There. Okay. League leaders. Munoz led the league with 54 saves. Okay. Prado with RBI. Alonzo with batting average. Prado with runs. And Alonzo with slugging percentage. Ooh, he's up to an 80 overall. You. You're up to a 77. I mean, we already saw that. You're just very balanced. Hopefully he stays, you know, gets those overalls up, because it's like he... None of his numbers are Major League ready. It's just... Oh, that's the Twins player, not ours. Gowan's going up. Barney Watt is up to a 76. He's up to 74, 71, nice, and 
we still dominate the list. Okay, Pete Alonso still won the Hank Aaron Award, apparently. Pretty rushing one, Rookie of the Year. Pete Alonso won the Silver Slugger at first. Not a DH? Whatever. So most valuable player, Nick Prado, is close. He was in the, he was in the conversation. Well, not close. He was definitely a distant third to these two, but... Cy Young, Chris Bubik. Alonzo won the batting title, despite missing a lot of time. So he, he had... He, no, there's no way he had as many at-bats. Yeah, he had 100 less at-bats than the next, the next qualified player. No reliever of the year, which is ridiculous. Pretty rushing one rookie of the year. Rex Iverson was in second. He hit 321. So Pete Lonzo won the Hank Aaron. Let's see, Gold well, Kompenstein was up there, but yeah, it should go to a starter. They play more. I've got okay, so I've got this theory. Every year the Orioles have a ton of players on these gold glove list. And I swear it's because they have terrible pitching. Like so there's way more balls in play. <laughs> because I see guys who are like, okay, he's a good fielder, but I swear that there are guys who have like terrible fielding stats from and I've seen this across all my franchises. <laughs> That'll be like their fielding stats are like in the fifties, and yet somehow they'll they'll win Gold Gloves consistently because they're on the Orioles. And I swear it's because they always have shitty pitching. <laughs> I don't know. That's my theory. Okay, Silver Sluggers. Pete Alonso came in third at DH. Oh, they were wrong. Prado won it at first base. Okay, starting pitching. Again, they weren't lights out spectacular. Manning was still the best. But, you know, they're still going up. Obviously, we won 100 games, so I can't complain. It's just our offense definitely carried us there. Out of the bullpen, well, he didn't pitch much, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Jordan Hicks recovered to have a pretty good year. Munoz was, of course, great. Thompson was awesome. Oh, Jesus. Klompenstein was pretty good. And these three were good, too. Abbott had kind of a rough year, but still, under four. I'm not going to complain about under four. And these two were great. Catchers. I know he's pissed off because he's not starting. But Sanchez is up to a 92. 13 homers, 266. So yeah, I mean, he, his, pay, his pace wasn't sustainable. He's not an offensive player. He only hits against lefties, really. Hi, hey, bub. Bub's, <laughs> Bub's on the ground. What are you doing? Whoops. What the heck just happened? Get out of there. I was, I was reaching for her toy. Come on. Get him. They've got this... It looks like a little so like a little soda bottle. Like it's not a real you know, it's real small and it's got like these streamers coming out the top, so it looks like soda's foaming out the top. God, she loves that thing. They both do. That's like one of their favorites. Okay, where was I? First baseman, of course, we saw how awesome they were. Thirty eight homers each. Alonzo in hundred and eighty less at bats, which is crazy. OPS, yeah, of over a thousand. He was nine twenty-five. Jesus Christ, Pete Alonso. So we still have you for one more year. We'll see how 
we'll see what happens after that. But oh, Bobby, show me your tummy. Show me your tummy. Good kitty, good kitty. So Harold Castro, of course, is starting to fall apart. And we're probably gonna have to let him go, unfortunately. Okay, he didn't play much. But he's going up fast. And man, Arius can field, but he can't. He, his hitting is just not doing very well. Castro, of course, is Castro. He's losing a little. But 28 homers, 260. Luciano hit eight. See, Luciano's already becoming pretty good here. 829, 782, 619 for Arius. What's his contract look like? We still got him for a long time because we signed him to a big contract. I mean, obviously he's a great fielder, so that helps, but still. Okay, he's up to an 80 overall. Look at that, plus 6 and plus 9. To his, to his contact. That's what we like to see. Freddie rushing. I mean, he got on base. He hit the ball. He got on base. 790. Stole 27 bases. And he was on pace to just... Rather Green still played very well. Yeah, 24 11, 871. And Bryant Packard, 15 homers, 286, 783, yeah. He's always so disappointing with, with the bat. I don't know. Whatever. I guess we're ready to go. So we play. We face Minnesota in the first round. Yep, that's all set up. Okay. Everything's the same. Well, now you're hitting ahead of him. Hitting ahead of him now. Yep, everything looks good there. Okay. And we're eliminated again, are we? Oh, we came back. Oh, thank Christ. <sighs> okay. Against Oakland. Can we come back again, maybe? Nope. Ah! <sighs> Christ's sake. The Brewers defeated the A's. Can't make it. Okay, I need to replace my farm director. We already knew that was going to happen. None of ours retired. Nobody's in the Hall of Fame. So yeah, we need a farm director, and we've got a lot of guys that we've got to deal with right now. He obviously wants a max contract. He also, he does not want a max contract. You will get re-signed. You somehow want more money than Trevor, Trevor Rogers. Hicks is gone. Abbott I can probably let go. 
How much did he want? 11. Mm -hmm. That's not bad, but still. And Castro's unfortunately gone. So we've got to figure out how what we're going to do here. We, we want to keep Prado, obviously. Uh, Trevor Rogers, you want to keep. As for Bell, I'm not certain he's necessary anymore anyway. Because we've got some other guys coming up. So we can probably let him go. Yeah, that's more than likely how we're going to do it. But that is a problem for next time. So next time on the show, 21, the Detroit Tigers, the 2028 offseason and the 2029 season. So, as usual, uh, this is John Crate signing out.